Okay, let's go into my room and there's a big parcel and a small parcel on the, the table and uh, as you can see from the title on the screen now uh, this video is one of many um, that I'm going to be making concerning the construction of a Roundhouse George 16mm live steam locomotive uh, from a kit. Uh, the large parcel that you see there is the uh, Roundhouse parcel and I've actually ordered some um, additional custom detailing parts from uh, from Local Works, uh, the excellent uh, company up in uh, Gateshead. So what I'm going to do with this video is start by uh, unboxing um, the Roundhouse uh, parcel just to see what we've got in there but I think I'm going to put it on the floor that's going to make filming a lot easier hang on so it's on the floor now and it hasn't actually been open yet so I've got my modeling knife so I'm just going to gently go through it open it oh hang on so and on the side and let's have a look what you get in the box this side put the knife down see if you can open it yeah oh okay I'm in uh, the Netherlands by the way so I'm glad they've uh, packaged it well packed it up well so let's have a dive and see what we've got okay the first one the first one that we're taking out is, oh, let's have a look. Oh, put it the right way up so you can read it. The George Tender Kit. And what Roundhouse do, what Roundhouse do with their kits, it's like a modular system. And um, obviously to make a complete, a complete locomotive, you need to put different modules, you have to buy different modules together. There's like a chassis, a boiler, a body, there's a radio control kit. And because George, the George locomotive, is a tender locomotive, then we get the tender. We'll have a look at it in a second. Let's just dive in and see what else there is. Okay. The George body kit. Let's put that on the table. See if there's anything else in here. Yeah. Okay. The George is actually a, a zero, a 040 locomotive. And um, for a number of the, their kits, Roundhouse use the same uh, 040 chassis kit. So this is the chass chassis kit and there should be more stuff in here let's have a dive okay so take all the stuff off uh, the boiler the boiler kit so that's one two three four boxes I'm thinking there might be other stuff so I'll have to dive in and have a look not sure nope okay what I'm actually what I'm actually looking for is uh, the radio control conversion so perhaps that's in one of the we put that in one of the other boxes we'll have a look in a second so that's what you get um, <laughs> when you when you when, when you put when you get the parcel delivered and let's go back to the table so they're the four main components so I think what I'll do now I'll take each of the individual components and uh, open them and show you what's in each of the construction modules 
Okay, let's uh, firstly take a look at the chassis kit, the HBK1. Open the box. Instructions. Just put them there. Look how well this is all packaged up. All right. Okay, if you look at all the bits, all the individual pieces, Allen keys, screws and so on, trying to get this uh, focused in there for you. Oh, these are, these are the, these are the cylinders. These are the cylinders. So this is the, the main cylinder here. And this will be the valve, the valve, uh, the valve chest there. But each of the bits are individually sealed in the plastic. So we'll put them on the table. There's that bit. Next one. Okay. This looks to me like a valve gear. Part of the valve gear. Again, even the, if you look closely, even the um, the washers, rings, they're all individually sealed in the plastic bag. Even the, see that there, the, the nuts and so on. Nuts and screws, bolts and so on. So we'll put that there. Okay, buffer assemblies. Buffer assemblies. The wheels, quite quite heavy, the four wheels. As I said, it's an 040. And look at this. Well, what do you know? They also include in the kit um, a set of BA spanners. There you go. 1 to 10 BA, set of 6. Well, isn't that brilliant? Okay. Uh, this looks to me like the reverse uh, assembly. Reverse assembly. Uh, this is looks to me like uh, axles, coupling rods, uh, frame spacers, and if you look closely there, whether I can get that in the light, that's um, a gauge, uh, a track gauge um, instrument. So you can uh, set it to either 32 mil or 45 mil. The gauge of your wheels. What else we got? Okay, very important, the chassis frames. As you can see, the, the bushing for the axles has already been pressed in. And you've got uh, uh, linkages there. Okay, the front and rear buffer beams, um, but three different styles, so you can choose which one you want uh, for your loco. Let me put them down there. Is that it? Yeah, that's everything. So of course, I'll just put the box out of the way. So hopefully you can see all that. I'll just take the the phone off the off its stand, and then we'll just I'll just sweep through them all, just uh, zoom through them all, so you can see them all again uh, up close. Hang on a sec. Okay, let's just go. Uh, I'll just 
sort of take you along all the all the, all the components again. Really looking forward to building this. And what I'll do is um, I'll post uh, a video every so often showing you where I'm at and maybe when I'm doing part of the construction uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, record that. Not that I've done this before you understand. Um, before this I've um, only I've, I've got two roundhouse locomotives but they're, they're sort of off the shelf um, but they are uh, a, a basic series and a, and a classic series um, but they're both but they both um, had the local works treatment um, which is why uh, you saw at the beginning I had another parcel from local works with some extra detailing parts okay just let me show you the instructions again instruction page yeah Okay, that's the chassis kit. I'm going to put all that away and then we'll go on to the next one.